Today we're going to build the cheapest LiPo discharger there is. What do we need? Of course, we need some wires. Cruise M3 by 50 and some lock nuts in my case. Step down converter, two fans, I use 6090. Some use other connectors, so you use the connector that you have the most batteries of. Two 8 ohms resistors. And of course, soldering iron and soldering. I already pre-tinned the wire and the connector here. This white stuff can be removed. We're going to need the screws here. We're going to work upside down and you put the screws in there like this. So we have this. Then we're going to need these one in there. And yeah, the holes line up perfectly. Now we're going to put this one on the other side like this. And we're going to put the screws on here. You can put washers between them, but that's not necessary. It's already bent too much, but be easy on this thing here because it's very soft. You don't need these two things here, so you can cut them off because we're going to solder these two against this one. You fat, bloated idiot! So guys, I made a huge mistake. This is a step up converter, not a step down converter. I managed to triangle them up. I don't have these small converters anymore laying around. So to finish the project, look for something else. And that's, this is what I still have laying around. This is a step down converter. Now I'm going to measure it all up and see if it works. I hope it doesn't explode here. The light is on. Now I'm going to measure it over here. 21. So this is too much. So do we have to change it to 12 okay 12.3 12 a little down 11.7 that's that will so do now we can put these things together on there yeah it's going to be a tight fit but this is what i have laying around here and i'm going to make it from these scratches so guys i'm sorry i forgot to put the camera on when soldering these things so yeah stupid me Four cell 6600 milliamps battery and you can see it over here it's 4.2 everywhere and we all know this cheap thing here and uh, this is just guidance when you have reached 3.8 you can set it up it makes a horrendous sound so when you know that the battery has reached almost storage this is not complete accurate the best thing you buy is like this it's more accurate than this one but this is just a guidance so when you plug this battery in here this is going to turn and generate heat so that's why you have to put it on a piece of metal it starts to turn a few moments later oh so it's about 50 degrees 52 so it's pretty hot so this thing makes a noise as soon as one cell has 3.8 i suggest that you put it on a charger to equal the cells afterwards this is just a tool to get it fast on 3.8 this is just an indicator this thing so this can be a little off the best you can do is get this thing and mount it back on there and see how much it is it's 3.85 3.1 3.82 3.82 4 see those are pretty equal 37 minutes in to get this battery to storage so i put the battery on my charger to see if everything was correct and it was 3.84 see the cells are pretty good i put a this a discharge on there yeah it's going to take a little bit off but it's not going to be that much so concluding this thing really works but there's still another thing you can do with this you can put a battery on there that is not good anymore you can put it on like this don't do this on there and it drains it completely empty so there's no voltage on there anymore so that's also a thing remember guys don't do this unattended always be in the neighborhood don't put it in here and go chopping or something like that you never know what is going to happen with the lipo always be careful charging discharging whatever be careful with these things they are a fire hazard if not treated well even if you think this thing works perfectly they're still yeah there can get something wrong here there's always a possibility so be careful with these things see you in the next one